Okay, so this is going to be your basic editor here. That's not Vegas is not so big. Basic. This is what I'm using a Sony Vegas Movie Studio 7. You probably are most likely are going to have a different editing software, but most uh, softwares look the same for green screen editing. The first thing you're going to want to do, um, this is our uh, video from this, well, video. Right now I'm working on editing it, so here is preview screen. We have the green screen behind us. Um, so let's put that back in its little box. All right, uh, the quality is not going to be very good on this video, but all right on this. But anyway, um, all right now we have the our, us sitting there. Here is our clip right here. That is, this is our clip in our timeline. So. What we want to do is we want to go to video effects. Um, it's most editors just have menu bars, and there will be a chroma key. And if you don't have that, then your uh, software doesn't edit chroma key, and you're gonna have to get in your software to do this. You want to drag and drop, or if there's an apply button or something like that. Then there should be this eyedropper tool that turns your your cursor in the into the eyedropper you want to go up and click on the the color of your green screen see that didn't work so well for oh mine but we're going to reset it but that should pretty much get the color of your green screen now it's not going to get it completely as we see here the green, some of the green, most of the green screen has been turned blue. That's what we want. We want it to be completely black, but for now, that's what we want the uh, software to do by itself. Now we have to do the rest of it. We're going to take these little uh, cursors and we're going to drag them until they look the best. If we go too far, we go back and we keep messing with them until we get the right where we want them and that's about good for that now you want to also mess with these sliders the low threshold and high threshold most chroma key editors have these sliders uh, low threshold and high threshold and we want to drag those until we like what we see and then you can do the blur which is a good thing to change and then you want to mess with these again get them where you want them and you're sometimes just not going to get all the corners because that is where the light is going to be most uneven and the best thing to do about that is if your software has a uh, mask masking tube tool that was what you would want to use but I think that's about as good as we want to get it or we're going to get it so let's put on a little more blur okay so now we're going to put in our background and I've already got a clip here for our background and we're going to use this FVP picture clip and for this you're going to put the clip on the bottom of the uh, first clip and let's see here let's play that oh um, uh, this was a problem I've had before okay uh, if you start editing your uh, green screen it starts to look like you go back to the beginning and it's not chrome keyed out until you get to like the end and then it's chrome keyed well, that's because you have your keyframe screwed up. I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to fix it real fast. And if you do have a problem with that, to, uh, contact me and I'll tell you how to fix it. So now we have us sitting in front of our green screen. Let's see if we can make that bigger. Um, that's a little laggy, but that's just because it's hard to do. Right. So that's the basic um, way to edit green screen. Not all uh, programs are gonna have this, so you just gotta be careful for that. So that is 
uh, editing with uh, editing green screen. Okay, so that's basically or that is the basics of our green screen. Um, we're going to talk about some more comp or some other things. Uh, there are different types of green screens. Most of them are Muslim. Um, they're they're it's just a, a, a kind of fabric. Um, not it doesn't have static electricity. Um, it and it absorbs a lot of light, so that way you don't get reflections on it off of it. There are plastic ones that, I mean, they work. They're cheap, but they reflect a lot of light. Um, what about the uh, other type of green screen? There's this new Realtek green screen. Um, you can find it on YouTube if you look for it. It has a satellite shaped bead and um, a green LED for your camera and the green LED uh, makes your camera pick up the, it turns the black into green. So, so it's like you have a bunch of satellite shaped beads, like thousands of them on the screen and to the naked eye it looks like gray, but when you light it up with yeah, the LED. You, it turns it green or blue, whichever one you get. But those are really expensive. They're like a thousand dollars, and we don't have a thousand dollars for a green screen. Yeah, and they're just—they're really amazing in the way because uh, the every time it's evenly lit, but uh, and it doesn't get any green on the the person's face or clothes or anything like that. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is blue screen. There's not much of a difference between blue and green screen besides them being different colors. Um, a lot of people think that. Um, Blue screen is good for skin tones, but and uh, I think the film industry leans a little bit more towards green screen. But um, either way, it's it's mostly preference. Um, anything else? No. Well, uh, a lot of this information information we got from various people, including Mark Absalon. Which, if you want to go into detail with more of this green screen stuff, we'll put a link up uh, here. I think. Um, and also our green screen came from tubetape.com. They have all the things you could need for green and screen. it's really, really well priced. Yes, they're, they're very cheap priced. Um, they have, uh, lots of, uh, software screens, um, stands for the screens as well. Um, they also have paint, green screen paint, which is pretty nice if you don't, if you uh, don't mind a, your green screen to be permanent. And if you're looking for a free green screen editing software there's wax um we'll put a link up if we can find it whichever but like i said this is a con and this is a combination video of information we get we've gotten from different people and we just kind of wanted to fit it into our own little uh video for other people so thanks for watching our tutorial for green screen